Hi guys and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Unlimited Elements. Today in the tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a post list that has an alternating sort of grid with different colors for each post. So this is a question for, from someone in the community and the first step as always is creating the HTML. So I've created the HTML in a code pen and as you can see it's two columns, each column is alternating and by odd and even in CSS, that's how I did it using flex and flex direction, but that doesn't really matter since we have the HTML ready and we're ready to create this into an Elementor widget since in Elementor you can't achieve this layout without creating it with a custom widget. I will always give this custom widget and in our catalog and I will make it free so everyone can download and test it and customize it. Perfect. So first step, I'm going into unlimited elements inside of WordPress. You can install it. It's free if you don't have it yet. And I'm going to make sure I'm in the correct category that I want to add my widget to. Unlimited elements is separated into different categories and inside the category I'm going to click add widget and I'm go going to give my widget a name. I'm going to call it alternating grid and same here. Perfect. Click add widget. It's been added to the thumbnails over here and double click to enter the framework and start making our widget. First step is to go into attributes, add attribute and over here I'm going to select post list. I'm going to give that a title. This is the title the user will see and a name. It's an internal name and on the right side I need to select one of my posts so I've selected a post and I'm going to click use custom fields yes I'll explain about that later next thing is to go inside of the HTML and over here on the right side we have uh, something called post list wrapping code we're going to want to click that and this is sort of a wrapper that we're going to want to wrap our post list and what it does it says that if it can't find any post to show this text so you can change this text to whatever you want you can put here any HTML you want or you can show an image or whatever you want depends on your design I'm not going to touch that right now and over here in the main input what we're going to want to do is click on put items this is sort of a repeater that will repeat everything here depending on how many posts the widget is going to be showing. Perfect. So let's take our HTML that we want to be repeated. I'm going to copy only one of the lines since it's a repeater. And this is the line that we're going to want to repeat itself depending on how many posts are configured. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy our CSS and paste that over here. Perfect. And next thing is to change the static fields into dynamic attributes from the right hand right hand sidebar. So first one is the image. I'm going to take the URL going to click on item post list and we're going to look here for the item post list image so I've selected it on the left and I'm going to click on it on the right and it's replaced the static to dynamic same thing we're going to do for title perfect and same thing we're going to do for the text. I'm going to be using only the intro text and not all of the content. And we can also replace this link. So whenever someone will click on it, it will open the full post. 
I think we got everything set up and now it's time to test this. So I'm going into pages, add new, and edit with Elementor. I'm going to search for my widget. It's called alternating grid. I'm going to drag that inside. And we have achieved our first step. We have an alternating grid of post lists. Over here, we can determine how many of those we want to show. So for example, just two or maybe five. And it's working perfectly. I'm going to save this and I want to make some more options. Right now we have only the options that are coming from the post list attribute. I'm going to add two more options. One is going to be for this background color and another one is going to be for the read more link text. So going back into the framework, attributes, add attributes, and we'll call this read more or let's call it link text and the attribute type is going to be a text field we're going to change the text to read more let's add that and I'm going to add another attribute that is going to be for color and the default color let's make it something purple for example and click add Great, we've added that. Now we need to go into the HTML and replace these. So first of all, we have our article link text and I'm going to change that. Now I don't see it on the right side right now. So what I need to do is go into the main attributes instead of the item attributes. So I'm gonna click here, main and we see it down here. I'm going to replace that. Perfect, it's been replaced. And we want to change also our background color with the dynamic color field. Perfect, click update to save. And I'm going to refresh my Elementor post in edit mode and let's click on it to edit and we can see the new two fields we've added so one is for the text here so let's just change this for example to learn more and it's been changed and let's try to change the background color of the post perfect so we're almost done but in uh, the design we've got, there is one more challenge. This challenge is to make um, each of the rows with a different color. So let's see the design again. This is how it is in the design. Each row gets a different color. Let's go back inside. And we're going to do this with advanced custom fields. That's another plugin that we're going to need to install and just look for advanced custom fields in the plugins repository so i'm inside of custom fields i'm going to create a new field group i'm going to call that color post field and we're going to add a field we're going to call it color and field type i'm going to choose color click publish perfect and inside of posts I'm going into the first post that we selected as the demo post and down here as you can see we can see the color post field so I'm going to change that to whatever I want click select click update and go back into unlimited elements. Now a quick way to edit this again is by clicking edit widget HTML. So that's just a quick way to open the framework and now over here I'm going to replace this color field 
on the right side let's open item post list and we can see our advanced custom field that we've added so I'm going to replace this general attribute to an attribute that's going to be coming dynamically from advanced custom fields click update to save and let's refresh our Elementor page and perfect we have the color field coming from our advanced custom fields so you can select a color for each post and it will be coming from your advanced custom field that's it for today if you have any questions please comment them in the comments please subscribe to our youtube channel for more updates and if you have more suggestions for widgets that you want to see how you can create them please send them to me Thank you for joining and see you next time.